Hello, dancers, and welcome to Fantasy Ballet. I'm Miss Haley, and together we are going to go on a ballet adventure. I can't wait to get started. All you have to do is follow and dance along to the moves that I do. All right, now I always like to start off class by shaking on my sillies so that I'm ready and focused to dance. What do you say? Will you join me? You will? Awesome! All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. We shake it up high. We shake it down low. We shake it to the side. We shake it to the other side. And we make ourselves as big as we can and as small as we can and as big as we can and as small as we can. And we slowly creep up Creep up, creep up. I don't know about you, but I feel so much better. I'm ready to dance. All right, dancers. So for today, we are going on a very special adventure. I'm inviting you to my home for a ballet slumber party. Ah! What do you say? Will you join me? You will? I'm so excited. Now, let's make sure our ballet slippers are all charged up and ready to go so we have enough magic to get to that ballet slumber party! All right, dancers, let's get seated on our bottoms. Reaching those feet out in front of you. Pointing those toes, stretching those knees. Tall ballerina backs. Don't want to see any slouch. Nice. Tall backs to the tip of the bun. Let's put our fingertips down. We begin to flex the feet and point the feet and flex and point. Let's try flexing one foot and slowly reaching the other and switch. Good, pointing those toes. Let's now circle out those feet. And reverse the circle. <gasps> Looks like our ballet slippers are all charged up and ready to go! All right, dancers, you know the drill. Let's put our soles of the feet together, grabbing those ankles. And we begin to flap our wings, closing our eyes as we think of our ballet slumber party! <gasps> Looks like we made it! Oh, and look, I'm in my PJs. All right, on the count of three, let's hop up. Let's make ourselves into a tiny little ball. And on the count of three, let's jump up. One, two, three. How do you like my bedroom? All right, so first things first. I think we're gonna watch a movie because that's what you do at sleepovers, right? So, we can watch a movie without popcorn! So, let's get back down into a small little ball and we begin popping like popcorn. Ready? Pop! 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 Pointing those toes! Pop! Pop! Woo! Super so's now! Pop! 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 Oh my goodness, our bag is full of popcorn! We pour it out. Mmm. It smells delicious. Now, let's th think about a movie to watch. What's your favorite movie? I love that one. I also love this one, but I forget the title. It's about a girl, she's got long, beautiful hair, she's in a tower. Huh, I forget it, but I love that one. What should we watch today? Let's just see what's on. Everybody, let's get seated on our bottom. Now, I always like to stretch when I watch TV, so, so how about we stretch all together? Let's extend one foot forward and we keep the other leg bent. We flex that front foot. How about we take our moat and we play whatever on the movie channel? 
Ooh, this one's a good one. Let's put our fingertips forward and let's just pulse into that leg while we watch our movie. <laughs> That's a funny part. And we grab the foot and we reach forward. Ah. Now, I don't mean to interrupt the movie, but we have to do the other side, right? So let's switch our legs, reach it forward, and just pulse. Wow. And we hug that foot, and we just relax. Wait. The power went out. Ooh, it's dark! Wait, don't fret. I'll light a candle. It's still a little dark. Will you guys help me light more candles? Good. Let's get seated in a little tiny ball. And we slowly roll up. Our head is the last thing to come up. We step to one side, pointing that back toe, lifting the leg, light the candle. We reach to the other side, pointing that back foot, lifting the leg, and light the candle. Let's do a few more. We point and light the candle. Other side, reach, lift. Did you hear that? I think it's thundering. <gasps> Did you see that lightning strike? Ooh, I don't like lightning. It just gave me an idea. Did you know that frappe means to strike? Just like a lightning bolt. Why don't we do some frappes all together? All right, let's glue our hands to our hips. After all, it is a belly sleep over a belly sleep over. Miss Haley, focus. Let's put one hand on each hip. Let's flex that foot. Now, if you have a table near you, Feel free to grab onto it. It might be hard to balance. Or a chair. Otherwise, let's put our hands onto our waist. Flexing that foot. And we're going to hit the floor to a nice point. And back in. Strike. And flex the foot. So we're just slightly skimming the floor. Push. Good. Let's try another one. Good work, dancers. Let's try the other side. Oh, you guys are great at these frappes. I see more lightning strikes. Let's do one more. Great work, dancers. And now the lightning isn't even that scary. All right, let's get this lumber party going, shall we? All right. Hmm, what should we do next? All right. I have a game I really like to play. It's called the fast and slow game. Now, some of you may know in ballet terms, adagio and allegro. Now, adagio means slow, and allegro means fast. All right, so it's kind of like the adagio allegro game, but for now, we'll call it the fast and slow game. All right, so when I start the music, if it's slow, we dance slowly. But it's fast. We dance fast. All right. I will play the music. Hit it.
answers. That was so much fun. I love creating with you guys and doing what the body just feels like doing. There's no structure. We just dance because we love it. All right. All right. Now we can't have a slumber party without a pillow fight. Now, I have two rules. One, have fun. And two, no hurting one another. All right. How I do this is... I like to do some picked up pot de berets. So, let me first show you what a picked up pot de beret is. Shall I? We are gonna start with one foot behind the other. You coupe behind you and bring it down and, and lift. lift the other foot up. You step on it, lift the other foot up and reach it forward. Let's do that again. We lift the opposite foot up, up, down. Now, try to do it on your tippy toes. Up, up, down, up, up, down. I'll try doing it once the back so you can see. Up, up, down, up, up, down. Did that help? Now, you're probably wondering, where does the pillow come in, Miss Haley? Well, we grab our pillow and we reach it up, up, down, up, up, down. Oh, you might have trouble balancing with the pillow. Up, up, down. Oh my goodness, there's pillows going everywhere. And we're learning a fabulous new step. Holding in those tummies, plucking those feet. Up, up, down. <sighs> Dancers, there's feathers everywhere. And I'm so tired. What do you say we go to bed? All right, let's get seated on our bottoms. We lie down. Sweet dreams. studio what a fabulous night I had so much fun did you guys have fun at the ballet slumber party you did awesome how about we share our favorite part of our adventure I'll, I'll go, go first. first my favorite part was when we all stuck together when the power went out and we lit candles all together it was very beautiful and fun <laughs> What was your favorite part? That was so much fun! All right, dancers. Now, we always end in the same way, with a reverence. A reverence is a ballet dancer's way of thanking their teacher, themselves, and those around them. So, let's stand on up. Let's put our feet together and we roll up. Good. Let's start with one foot behind the other. Ready? Prepare. And we finish with a bow. Thank you for coming to my slumber party, dancers. I had so much fun. I cannot wait to go on many more adventures with you. Don't forget to subscribe so we can continue our ballet adventures together. See you real soon. Bye.